Okay, hi, Bridget Air with All About the Grace, and I'm glad to be back. I have, um, if you haven't heard, I have a brand new book out, uh, Breaking New Ground, Discipleship Using New Media, and it's really a how-to book of how we can use new media to evangelize. So whether you have zero tech knowledge to the most tech savvy, if you are interested in digital evangelization, this book is for you. So really it, it crosses um, all ages. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. Really excited about that. Okay, I was also recently gave a talk at St. Mimer's Seminary. I've been back there. Um, it's the second time I've been back there to teach uh, or to give a presentation at their uh, J term. And that's a time when they bring in professionals to talk about various topics. And I came in to talk about digital media and discipleship, so how to use that at your parish. And one of the seminarians asked me this really great question, and I want to address it here because I think it's something that priests and pastors can take away something from this. So the question was, should I have a personal Twitter account or should I have a parish Twitter account? And honestly, I've seen both, but as I've reflected some more on that question, I didn't really give them an answer. I basically said that, you know, you can really do it either way. But as I've reflected more on that question, I think it makes more sense for a pastor to have his own Twitter account. And really the purpose of the pastor's Twitter account is going to be to teach, to offer spiritual guidance, spiritual thoughts, spiritual reflections, maybe even make comments on you know, what's going on in the culture, share articles, um, just all the things that you do on Twitter. Um, but obviously it's a spiritual formation tool. And then the parish Twitter should be more like um, explaining more of a digital bullet, bulletin, if you will. So it'd be, uh, we need helpers for the fish dinner or the spaghetti supper, um, or there's a marriage retreat this weekend, or there is, um, you know, we have openings for our adoration chapel. So more of a um, recruiting volunteers and um, ways for people to plug into the parish, so more of a communication um, tool in that way. It's not to say that the the priest couldn't also say, "Hey, this is Father Bob," you know, on the parish Twitter. Hey, this is Father Bob. I just want to wish you a Merry Christmas, or I I want to share this homily here, you know, post it there or something like that. But I definitely think that it makes more sense for the the individual priest to keep their own Twitter account, you know, with their own picture and everything like Father Bob, whatever, Twitter account. Because then when the pre, you know, priests move from parish to parish, they can move, they can take their Twitter account with them and they can stay in touch with previous parishioners and then they can add new parishioners. And the other thing about Twitter, especially when you think about priests and pastors, is that really it's it's a great platform for evangelization. Not just not just evangelizing your own flock, but your friends, um, your family, people maybe who have left the church, maybe who aren't going to church at all, or who aren't even Catholic. I mean, I follow a lot of different priests on Twitter, and. I mean, some of them live in a different state. I've never actually met them, but I feel like I know them because I feel like they, I always am being spiritually fed by what they have to offer or their reflections. Because when things happen in the culture, who better to look to than our shepherds, you know? And if our pastors um, and our bishops are on Twitter, um, as just one example, we can, you know, get real time. I guess, spiritual direction and guidance from our shepherds. So um, I just wanted to answer that question. I think it was an excellent question. And as I've had more time to reflect on it, I really do think it's better for pastors to have their own personal Twitter accounts and also that the parish has a Twitter account 
and again the pastor can tweet out on the parish account but primarily the pastor is going to be tweeting out on their own account so hope that makes sense um, great question thanks for watching god bless